As I walked into my office, my assistant informed me that my friend John was gone, killed in a helicopter crash on the highway. I remembered in flight school, my flight instructor told me that even though he would provide me with the best training he knew how, I may one day die in an aircraft accident. And some of my colleagues will definitely die in an aircraft accident. He had just retired from Bristol helicopters and had over 13,000 hours of flying. I felt blessed to have him as, as my flight instructor from my first flight to graduation. When he made that statement, I did not understand how I could be proficient in my skill as a pilot and still make a mistake. I strived to learn everything he had to offer about flight and spent extra hours at night studying. It seemed to me that if I wanted to stay alive, it had to be above average in anything that I learned related to flight. It took me years to realize that a human in me and others played a major role in safety. I remembered how I trained other pilots as a young training captain. My gauge of their performance was based on their flying skills only. Even even after I started to lose colleagues and mentors to aircraft accidents, it did not dawn on me that the human factor was involved. After all, it must be maintenance, the weather, aircraft performance, etc. As a young pilot in my native country, I made many trips at night into the rainforest of South America without any NVGs or adequate ground lighting to rescue a snake-bitten miner or a critically injured logger. I remember one night going out to find a mining camp in the dark and looking for that single light in the night sky. I had to do it all in memory because I was the only pilot who had been to that location through the day. I visually memorized where all the hazards were and used my landing lights to scan the air as I landed in a hole in the canopy jungle. My friend John could never say no to a flight request that involved a serious patient. That's the kind of person he was. So he departed one night on a HEMS flight when the weather was marginal. The weather further deteriorated as the flight progressed and John eventually flew his helicopter into the highway. I sat in the office for a couple hours, and that's when I heard my flight instructor's voice coming back to me. And this time I heard him. 